Joining us now, Jeff Gurrell, who operates the Meadowlands Racetrack, as well as Tioga Downs in New York. Thank you for being here. Well, thank you for inviting me. Let me guess, this didn't surprise you at all that Atlantic City Racecourse is closing? No, not at all. What's happened to racing? What's happened to racing is we, we really haven't been able to find a way to appeal to younger people the way it appealed to me when I was in high school and college. And, uh, you know, we didn't go on TV. We probably made a big mistake back in the day. And f frankly, um, there's so many other things for people to do today that racing other than the big events like the Derby and Triple, the Crown. Triple Crown and, and harness racing, the, the Hamiltonian. Uh, but by and large, it just doesn't appeal to younger people. Atlantic City race course was principally a simulcast course. Their peak attendance, I was surprised to see, was back in 1953, for Pete's sake. Um, could other uh, alternative sources of income work, big concerts or anything else? Well, what's, what's keeping horse racing alive, frankly, is casinos. Most racetracks today uh, have a c component of, of a casino part of it, like in Pennsylvania or New York or even Tioga Downs. We have slot machines. So basically, that's what's helping uh, the racetrack. I know that you want a race casino, if you will, casino and race course in the Meadowlands. Um, but what I've learned in my research is that once those casinos opened in Atlantic City, the Atlantic City race course um, uh, customer base dropped. Right. Um, I think that's true. And the casino. So why is it going to work in Meadow Meadowlands if it didn't work there? Well, I think what it really will help is um, we just built a new $120 million building, and it's a cool place, but, um, you know, people need various options. So it's not uncommon for someone, uh, the husband likes the races, the, the wife likes sitting in front of a slot machine. I think it's a combination of both. Plus, purses uh, are subsidized by the, by the casino revenue. So the biggest problem I have at the Meadowlands, frankly, is the fact that because New York and Pennsylvania are getting hundreds of millions of dollars, that we don't, we can't compete for horses. So that's a real struggle. Will the closing of Atlantic City help your track at the Meadowlands? Or do you well, think really, it will make a difference? It shouldn't make any Here's difference. what might make a difference. They're considering New York, you've mentioned, is considering opening another casino in the Southern Tier. How's that gonna affect you? Well, that would be a big help. Um, I was one of the bidders one of two bidders in what we call the true Southern tier who was shocked, <laughs> disappointed not to get a license. But uh, fortunately, I think the governor, to his credit, has, has come to the rescue because the, the intent was to put one in the Southern tier. You've got Tioga Downs. What is the likelihood that you're going to be the guy picked? It all depends. Um, right now, the, the people in charge of picking have, uh, he did an interview uh, a couple of days ago and he said, well, Jeff has to submit a different application if he wants to win. So I've got to try to find out exactly what he means by that. I thought my application was pretty good, but obviously uh, maybe I'm missing something. So, I, you know, I'm optimistic. There aren't a lot of people up there, so hopefully nobody bids against me. Uh, that's really probably the best, the best hope I have is not to have someone bid against me. But, I mean, in fairness, uh, um, it's a competitive environment, but I think... Uh, uh, I think we could, we've, we've, we could convert pretty quickly. Let's bring it back to New Jersey. Uh, do you want to lay bets on whether sports betting will become legal? I don't know. You know, the, the approach they're taking now is kind of a long shot, I think. Um, but I think over time, eventually, yeah, I think it's just a matter of time. Everybody realizes that you take the NFL, for example, no one's watching the NFL if they're not betting on it. So hopefully they're the biggest opponent of it, and, and they really are kind of hypocritical it seems because you know they you, you look at the tv shows before the games they all talk about the, the line and everything right. jeff corral thanks for being with us thank you